I'm Julie Clouser for Vulture here with the two stars of Portlandia, Carrie Brownstein and Fred Armisen. Hello. Hello. Two of your most popular characters are Tony and Candace, feminist bookshop owners. Yes, next. Hi, hello. Thank you for coming to Women and Women First. Or not thank you. We are here in front of Blue Stockings, a real life feminist bookstore, to pick out a few books that might be titles on your most obscure reading list. All right, let's do it. If I were to buy something, I'd want to buy something like this just to, so I could look intelligent. I think if you ever have a sort of radical looking book with an American flag, it always makes you look like you're thinking. It seems like anarchy isn't something that you would just like read about in a book and be like... Right, like anarchy for dummies. <laughs> yeah, which they don't have that here. I one time like put a like a, a U.S. stamp like upside down. I was just like, yeah. Oh, that's the coolest way to use a stamp. <laughs> oh, I'm in this book, Office Girl. But then at 1 a.m. in the elevator on the way down to the lobby, Jack zipping up his coat. Jack is me. That's a reference to me. Choosing is hard for me. I'm full of a lot of indecision. Does this seem appetizing to anyone? Gorilla food? Bananas. <laughs> the end. <laughs> is that Castro? Yeah. Who's that? Chavez. That's sort of like their album cover. Look at this. Do you think Castro was bummed that he got the profile and he wasn't like... I think he likes this because he kind of gets to see his hat more. Because yeah. I think he took one of these ones and he was like, can you tell us like a hat like this? And he couldn't. It looked like a fez or something. Yeah. Or beanie, and then he was like, I want to do it sideways. I'm just going to pick something based on the cover now. Carrie's story. Just so you know, it is an erotic SM novel. Oh, I'm prepared. For okay. That. I selected Main Street Vegan. They've been underground for too long. Yeah, I've never heard a vegan tell me they were vegan. It's so secretive. Yeah, it's very. Or allergic to gluten. You're like, are you or aren't you allergic to gluten? <laughs> Say I don't. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Stop shutting up all Just the time. <laughs> and Fred, what is, what's the first book that you have? The first one is It Chooses You by Miranda July, because I'm a huge fan of Miranda July. Wasn't she in um, an episode of Portland? Uh -huh. Yeah. Two girls, two shirts. Carrie, what's the next one? Rookie yearbook. Oh, that book is great. This past Christmas, I gave this book to a couple of my friend's daughters. The same kid I've got this book for, I also got her One Direction tickets. So, so you're, That's I good. Mean, you're the like, best aunt. It's balanced. <laughs> and Fred, what's your, what's your last pick? Um, this is uh, it's Beck's uh, sheet music album. I gave that out as a Christmas gift this year, you too. You did? Yeah. It's the best. Not to Fred. Well, now's the time. Yeah. yeah. Fred and Carrie, thank you guys so much for joining me here. And special thanks to Blue Stockings, Venice Bookstore on Allen Street. For Vulture, I'm Julie Klasner.